In today's video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite defensive concepts for gun tight slots and how I like to defend that in terms of a pressure package that you can utilize that will force them to at least put the quarterback on a timer and put them in a position where they're going to have to actually, I don't know, just kind of have to work a little bit more than they might want to. So I'm um, just going to set some audibles here and we're going to come out in the play uh, flood. And the defense is the Nickel Blitz 2 out of the Nickel Triple. Now, this, is, in my opinion, is the best Nickel Blitz in the game. It provides incredible, incredible pressure. Um, and then also what you're going to be able to do off of this is have uh, some pretty decent zone coverages um, or decent zone in behind it. So a nickel blitz two out of nickel triple. Now, one of the things that you can do with this, and again, it comes down to your user, is you can, if you look at the packages here, you can go to a strong safety nickel package. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna put, you know, the, the outside third adjustments on the field. I don't necessarily like to do that out of this in particular blitz. And the reason why is because it puts a lot of strain on your user to, to cover seam streaks. So that's just kind of something you want to be aware of. But anyways, Nickel Blitz 2. And the setup is really simple. Literally, all we're going to do is we are going to press coverage. We're going to QB contain. And then we're going to stand right here. But really important, we're watching. We're going to kind of hold left trigger. And then we're going to go to any kind of seam wheel that they're going to throw our way. So we have this vert hook over here. And then one of the things you can do off of this, and I'll show it in just a second, is you can drop, like if you want to drop this, you know, this guy in a zone and this guy in a zone and this guy, you can. But I first want to show you the pressure. So again, you're just gonna press uh, QB contain, and then what you'll see here is we'll get insane pressure off the left edge, and it's really fast, as you can see. Um, that's one of the things about tight that I think most people kind of miss is the three three five wide blitz can get picked up so easily by a by a block tight end, but this blitz in particular is a little bit more difficult to, to pick up. So let's say they block their tight end. Let me just show you. The blitz comes through the B gap, so it's still fast pressure. It's going to come in, and there's really not much they can do about it. Let's say that they flip their play. Well, you flip your play, <laughs> and I mean, you see here. Now we're, you know, if you get in a situation like this, you might need to slide them. You want them next to each other, but now. You know, they block their tight end. Might not come in this time, but it should. Yep, comes in fine. Okay, so the blitz is kind of the, the first piece of this. The second piece of this is the coverage. So we talk about coverage. Let me show you one more thing with the blitz, though. Let me show you a blocked running back. So let's say they blocked their running back. What you should see is it contains glitch out running backs, and it doesn't pick it up. So let's say they block both. They're tight end and the running back, which most people aren't gonna do. Let's see here. It does pick it up sometimes, but sometimes you do get B gap pressure. So, I mean, it's it's kind of, um, it's not super consistent in terms of being able to pick this up when they max pro. It's just, see there? So, I mean, it's it's not super consistent. A lot of it determine, depends on how badly he gets bumped by that receiver. That's one of the downsides to tight. But the good side of this is you can send a lot of people and because they're all crammed right into there with each other. So that's kind of part A of the video. Um, real quick, I did want to let you know that if you've not joined our Patreon, if you want to get my full ebook on this, um, I have defense for pretty much every formation in it. We've updated it two or three times. I think maybe more than that. Uh, but you can get all my stuff over at the Patreon. There's, it's only $10 a month. And it doesn't only get you one guide, it gets you 15 offensive and defensive guides that I've got out right now that have been updated throughout the year. And it's also going to give you any new ebooks while your subscription is active. So, like I said, it's only $10 a month and you can cancel whenever you want. So, if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description that you can check out after the video is over. So, now let's talk about the coverage. So, from a coverage perspective, we don't have to cover for a very long time. That's, that's kind of the big key. Uh, with this, we really don't have to cover, you know, for for a long time. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go ahead and we're going to drop this backside guy, which is a linebacker, a middle linebacker, or an outside linebacker. 
we can drop him into whatever coverage we want to. Okay, so we could drop him into a uh, vertical hook. We could drop him into a bluff blitz. All of these are really good. I normally just bluff blitz him. Um, if you want him on the field for contain purposes, that's fine too. Um, you know, this will be a pretty decent contain defense. Just let me show you that the blitz is typically fine even if you drop that guy off the edge. As you can see, you got the B gap there. We did get nano detected, but you see that the concept is there. And the reality is what most people are trying to do when they go to gun tight is they're trying to hit a deep post or a wheel route. That's pretty much what they're gonna to try to do. Um, and as you can see, the pressure just screams. And like I said, it's also gonna be hard to roll out on this because you do have pretty good contain from this coverage. Now, from a coverage perspective in terms of what you need to use her, really what you're looking to do is you're going to go use her the left side. So if they run mesh spot, let's do it like that, actually. So let's say they do something like this. Well, what you're going to do, you're going to go here, and then you're going to try to get out here on the back. Okay? That's really your, your goal. And, and in Mutt, this is even better because you've got better defenders, obviously faster defenders. Um, but basically, that's your goal. Okay, now what about Flood? Flood is the one thing you do have to be a little careful on because it is a beater. Okay, because they're going to do something like this with a corner and then that. That's kind of Flood. Well, there's no route that goes left, so you don't have to go left. So you snap the ball, you go here, okay, and then we're going to bail back. And you see how fast the pressure is going to come. So the fact that the pressure comes so fast is actually very, very helpful to us. Um, now there's something else that you can do with this if you want to. You can move this guy over here. And the reason you would do that is because it just gives you a little bit of disguise um, in terms of it's gonna play better against four verticals to the tight end as well. So they run four verticals, you see there. I mean, they can't even throw it. And they can't, you know, so the, the, the biggest responsibility you're going to have on this is guarding the running back. Now, what you can mix and match some, if they're not putting their tight end on routes, man, you could cross man the running back with this guy. And then remember, we can drop this guy on a vert hook. So you see how I did that. And then now, you know, now it's going to be even tougher. And as you can see, the, the pressure's still coming fine. And then if you want to turn those outside soft squats into clouds, you certainly can. What I would recommend doing if you're going to do that is shade your coverage down first. So you get shaded down vert hooks, which are going to play really good underneath. And then you get the cloud flats. And then now you're going to be in a position where like if they try to throw a wheel um, to like the tight end, it's not going to be very easy. See how that vert hook just guards it all the way and the, the hard flat gets it. So this right now is probably my favorite, favorite defense for gun tight because this Nickel Blitz 2 is basically set up to be successful from the jump. And then you've also, like I said, you've got incredible, incredible coverage um, out of this. And if you got good user, you're going to be pretty good shape. Now you do have to watch out for like, you know, I mean, one thing people like to do if you like move this guy, you could then go with the baseline press look. So you see, I just kind of wiggled him just a little bit so he wouldn't move. Now this is a really good coverage against tight because you get the pressure, but you also get those guys outside leveraging now against the corner routes, okay? But, you know, pretty solid defense all around. And the cool part is we can kind of do several different things off of this. So like, let's say, um, you know, let's say they flip us and we don't want to flip with them. Well, we can bring this guy out and blitz him off the edge now and then just drop this guy in the vert hook. And now it's basically the same thing. It's just flipped. And you see the pressure is going to come in off the right edge. So you can kind of mix and match this a little bit to your to what you want to do. You can set your zone drops. And if you do set your zone drops, make sure you put your vertical hooks at 5. And then if you want to put your clouds at 10 or 15 based on situations, that's fine. And as you can I mean, you just see how good of a blitz this is so anyways that's the video thanks for watching if you want to get the full defensive ebook there will be a link in the description below where you can join our patreon it's only ten dollars a month to join that and you get so much value in my opinion so many ebooks and so many um, actual deep dives into how to actually stop stuff 
uh, which I think is going to be very helpful. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head on down to the description of the video and click the link that I put down there and you can go get signed up.